Are you and your clan leaving some of the easiest and best loot in the game on the table so that other players can get it instead of you? Based on what I've been seeing about the community, you probably are. What's up everybody? Welcome back to Rust Admin Academy where I'm teaching you everything that you need to know about owning and operating a successful Rust server. On this channel I do plug interviews and tutorials plus I want to give you all of the tips and tools that are going to make your Rust server ownership so much easier. If you're brand new to my channel consider subscribing so that you stay up to date on everything that we're working on and to get the latest updates on the Rust development world. I'll remind you a couple of times throughout the video to hit that like button if you're enjoying what you're watching so please remember to do so. All right let's get on to today's video. So we were all there for the train update. I want to say May, June, something like that of 2022. And it was a cool feature that they added to the game. I was really satisfied with it. It's pretty cool to have another mode of transportation that goes all the way around the map. However, there are details to the train system that maybe not everybody knows about. So I want to clear that all up today. I'm going to show you exactly how the train system works and why I think you should be using it. So I'm pretty sure that we all understand how the train system works. Obviously, you need an engine and you can hook up to train cars and you can drag them all over the map. But for those that aren't familiar with it, let's just go through this really quick. Obviously, we need to have some fuel for our train engine. So go kill a pig, go kill a bear, whatever, start making some fuel. And down below the train engine is where we insert that fuel. Dump it in there, hop in the driver's seat, and away we go. Really simple controls. W makes you go forward, D makes you stop or go reverse. And you can see that all by the instrument cluster right here. So we've got three speeds going forward, and we've got three speeds going backwards. Now, when you're backing into another train car where you want to hook up to it, you don't want to be going too fast. You'll get a little warning on the display there telling you that there's something behind you that you're going to connect to it. So maybe you might want to slow down. I reverse into train cars at low gear. I've never checked to see how fast you can actually be going before you start causing a ruckus. And of course, we can hook up to all different types of train cars, whatever you can find on the railroad tracks, you can hook up to it. But for this particular video, I don't want this type of train car or this one for that matter. The ones I want are the ones that have loot and resources on them. While you're navigating your train around your map, when you come up to an intersection like you're seeing on my screen right now, you can hold the right key or the left key to determine which track you're going to go on to. In this case, we're going to take the left train track, go all the way ahead of this one, and then back down the right hand track and grab onto these train cars that you can see I'm passing right now. So as you can see, I'm now backing up and you can see the right hand arrow indicating that I'm going to the right hand track. And you'll get a warning on your instrument cluster as you're backing up into another train car. And it's also keeping track of how many train cars we have hooked up to our engine. And once we've got everything hooked up, I've got six train cars that I want to take back to the train station to unload the loot. So while we're driving our train, of course, we can leave it running and we can go back and check out what we've got going on. So we can have a look in these containers, but we can't drag anything out of it. So as you can see there, I've got 559 low grade fuel. If we go back to this next one, this one has 2650 in sulfur, not a bad haul. And this next one back here, what's in here? Okay, so this one's loot boxes. So again, we can see what's in them, but we can't take anything out. And there we go. We've got even more loot back in this car back here. So we just need to take this back to the train station so that we can actually unload everything. So when you're ready to unload your train and you're heading back to the train yard, you want to make sure that you have a green card on you. Otherwise, you won't be able to access the broom required in order to unload the stuff. And you're going to have to have at least one fuse with you. With one fuse, I believe you can unload five train cars, but we're going to find out here in a minute. I currently have six hooked up, so we'll see how that goes. Apparently, one of those was an engine and I couldn't make it all the way up this hill having two engines hooked up to my train when you can't power both of them at the same same time. So I just dumped one. So now I'm down to five cars. So as you're coming into the train station, obviously this is easier if you're not solo, but it can be done if you're solo. So you'll notice once we get closer to the actual elevator itself, there's some traffic lights on the side of it telling you where you need to be. You're also going to hear some audible signals telling you and also indicating on your instrument cluster which car is at the unloading zone. So with your green card in hand, of course, swipe at the card reader. This door opens and go up the ladder on the left hand side. Once you're at the top here, here's the control panel for unloading your train cars. So we obviously go up to the fuse panel. We dump a fuse in there. Now we have power. So if we have a look down there, you can see that my engine is right below the extractor for the actual elevator. So that's not going to work out. So let's shunt to next and it will automatically move our train car forward and line it up so that we can unload this oil tanker. Click on the unload button right here and let it do its thing. And once it's done, obviously we want to move to the next car. So let's go ahead and shunt to next again and it automatically moves the car forward to the next available train car. Click on unload 
it does its thing. And obviously you just continue doing this till all of your train cars are empty and I'll show you where to get the loot in just a minute. Okay, so I blew my fuse out already so it looks like I was able to unload about two and a half, maybe three train cars. Let's continue to unload now that I've replaced that fuse. And as you can see there, you can see those crates are now exposed. Looks like there might only be one in that train car, but we'll go down and check in a minute. Oh no, there's some military crates down in there too. Cool. So that actually proves my point that there is good loot on these trains and people are just leaving them. And I believe that's the last train car that I have hooked up. So we'll go down there and check everything over. All right, so once you have all of those things exposed, you can now go down and loot those items. However, if you have an enemy that knows you're there and you don't have anybody watching your back, they of course can scoot down there real quick and steal what you've just unloaded. So before they do that, let's head down the ladder. And at the bottom, down below the control panel, you can see there's the tank where all of the fluids would go. So we should have some low grade fuel in here. And then this other one should have the sulfur in there from that other train car. That's perfect. And now we need to go out and actually loot these boxes before somebody comes along and tries to take them. So as you can see there, just with a couple of minutes and a very little bit of low grade fuel we were able to hook up i think it ended up being five train cars and this is all the loot that we got it only took us a couple of minutes to get it all done and this is on a completely 100 vanilla server so if you're dealing in the modded world then of course that loot's going to be even more i know that this video was geared more towards the player as opposed to the admin of the server however if you are an admin of your own server and you want to spice up the loot that people can actually find inside of your train cars then of course you're going to want to check out this video on the left hand side of the screen right now and of course if you have already hit that subscribe button down below and of course if you want to become one of the people that help support what i'm doing at rust admin academy click on my patreon button right down below thank you all so much for watching i'll see you on the next one